big Wolf Ferrell fan, yeah. Yeah, very big. Why are you such a big Wolf Ferrell fan? What do you like about him? Funny. It's very funny. I like a funny film. It's easy to watch. So, uh, like Semi Pro, uh, Step Brothers, Elf, all great films. And of course, there's a film all about daddies. Um, what do you think is the essence of a good dad, a good parent? Um, I kind of go with my dad's like with me, and he's uh, always there, very supportive. So, yeah, I'd say that, just being there. Where are we going to see you in 2016? What have you got planned uh, for next year? Well, I can't say that, you know, I can't. But I'll be back on TV. Well, I mean, I guess looking back to 2015, what was the highlight for you? It's been a crazy year for you as always. Uh, I had quite a nice, quiet time on Towie, so probably the fact that it was nice and quiet. Um, yeah, so it's the fact it was nice and quiet, a few quiet series. I mean, the show keeps going from strength to strength. Why do you think that is? Why are people st still so fascinated by Towie? Fantastic fan base. You know, the fans keep supporting it, the fans want to see the cast grow and develop and mature, so I think that's what it is, really. Is it hard for you having so much of your actual life out there for the public and for the fans, like you say? Yeah, but obviously you do keep some things back for yourself. So you reveal so much, but there's that 10% that's sacred to you, so you still have that to hold on to. So, yeah, it's a decision I made and one I stick to. Overall, do you think the show has been good or bad for the reputation of Essex? It depends how you look at it. I think bad and perhaps maybe some of the, some of the girls and some of the things that happen uh, storyline wise can be a bit questionable but I think for the tourism there and the actual Essex on the map people in LA know what Essex is now whereas maybe before they wouldn't have you talk about with some of the girls some I mean, what, what are you kind of talking about when you say that? I think like the fake tits the plastic surgery the sort of thing that is apparently a stereotype Essex girl which I don't believe it is but yeah I guess the other question that fans always have about the show is how structured is it? I mean, because obviously, like you say, some of your real life you're kind of keeping very private. Um, what we see on screen, how real is that in that sense? <laughs> it is really real. Um, we, have, we have briefings, but our opinions are our own. Obviously, we have to get put together to, for it to be filmed, but what's said on camera, by whether it be myself or a fellow cast member, is, what, is, is exactly what they think. Do you have any particular experiences with fans that really meant a lot to you, that have really uh, touched you? Um, I went to uh, Little Haven's Hospice um, last Christmas uh, to take presents there and met the kids, um, played Play-Doh, um, and that was really nice. They're all fans of the show, the families are fans of the show, so that was nice. Um, rewarding. It was nice. Do you have other plans, though, beyond the show, things that you'd like to achieve yourself personally? Yeah, I've started a hair brand uh, called Black Labels, a men's hair brand. We sell it in 70 countries. I want to make the best hair brand in the world for men. That'll be my legacy. I mean, in terms of hair brand, I mean, what is that? Is that products? And can you tell us a bit more about? That? Yeah, it's all like men's hair products. Um, it's essential men's hair products. So it's a luxury brand for men. We're gonna let you go and enjoy the film. Have you got a message to fans before you leave us, though? Um, thank you for your support. Enjoy your Christmas and a happy New Year.